Hey guys, I thought this is Dan here, holding my phone again. As you can see, I am still homeless, but I have started painting, so um, hopefully it will be finished by sometime next year. So today I want to try something new, something I haven't done before, Photoshop tutorials. Now I know some of you guys have been asking for these and I haven't been doing them, so sorry about that. But let me know what you think in the comments below, I might make it into a series. But uh, for the first episode, I want to show you guys how to remove tourists and other obstructions from your travel photographs. Uh, this can be very handy, it's very easy actually, and once you have Photoshop, it's a breeze. So uh, if you don't know what I mean by obstructions, you'll see after this. So as you can see I am not on holiday and I do not have a tourist attraction to photograph but I do have my camera set up in my back garden I'm going to take a few pictures, walk in front of the camera and I'll show you guys the same basic principle. So as you can see my camera is on a tripod, this is very important, you need to have your camera on a tripod for Photoshop to work. Photoshop picks out the differences between the photos and if you don't have your camera on a tripod, if you have camera shake in between each photo, it's not going to work, it's going to take out the whole thing so you need to have a tripod for your camera. Second thing to note is that you need to take at least 10 to 15 shots of your subject. I know that sounds like a lot, and I know that mightn't always be possible, but uh, Photoshop does need a good bit of material to work with, so the more photos you can take, the better the result. So I'm going to take my 10 pictures, I'll get my brother to help me, and we'll see how they turn out afterwards. So I've imported my photographs, they're here in a folder on my desktop. As you can see, we've taken 12 in the end, just to be sure, it's always better to take more than less. So let's open it up, here they are right here, and remember in a real world situation to wait at least 10 seconds between taking each photograph because you need to wait for people to get out of the way so you can get a good clean view of what you want to take. Don't take them all in a row because that won't work. So let's open up Photoshop, here it is right here. So this method is exactly the same as it is on the Windows version, go up to File, go down to Scripts, and choose Statistics. And in here, choose Stack Mode, make sure it's set to Median. Go into Use and choose Folder, just because all my files are in one folder. Go into Browse and choose my folder right here. Click Open. And here's all the files. You can tick this box if you like, although you don't have to because we've taken all our photographs on a tripod, but tick it anyway. And click OK. Photoshop will go to work and just wait a few minutes. It depends on how fast your computer is, but it should come back with a clean background. And there you go. Photoshop has analysed every photograph and cleaned out all the obstructions. So there you go, how to remove tourists and other obstructions from your travel photographs. Hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you click subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Today I want to talk about Tweetbot, which is an amazing Twitter client for the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. So here is my main timeline, as you can see, I can scroll to this. Uh, this is the first button on the left hand side here. So if I go down to the bottom, the speech bubble with the X through it is mute filters, so click that.